Leave supporter Kit Malthouse said opening a dialogue with the two countries was vital in dealing with increasing tensions with the West. Speaking to BBC Radio 4S Westminster Hour, he said the UK's dealings with the rest of the world would no longer be compromised. He said Brexit is a big opportunity for us to be a more independent voice and obviously as part of the EU we were finding more and more and more that our foreign policy approach was compromised by their need for a collective action. Getty Get Malthouse said post-Brexit Britain should define its own approach to foreign policy Brexit is a big opportunity for us to be a more independent voice and obviously as part of the EU we were finding more and more and more that our foreign policy approach was compromised Get Malthouse particularly if you look at Russia, there's no doubt about it that the continent of Europe is conflicted about its approach to Russia because of its needs for energy and gas that comes from there, they're unable to keep the lights on and take the kind of action that's required, but where I do agree is, I'm all for talking, I don't understand why we draw our headlines in the sand before we've decided what we think the sensible political outcome is, the politician suggested sending Foreign Secretary Boris Johnson to Moscow for regular visits to open a dialogue with Vladimir Putin. Monday, July 31, 2017 North Korea's intercontinental ballistic missile ICBM, Hwasong-14 being louched at an undisclosed place in North Korea I think engagement with North Korea in negotiation is absolutely key, I think we should be doing the same with the Russians, said Mr. Malthouse, it's a pity that our relationship with the Russians is at such a low ebb, from my point of view I think we should be sending the foreign secretary off to Moscow on a regular basis and at least get the dialogue going, the comments come after South Korean President Moon Jae-in and his U.S. counterpart, Donald Trump, agreed to apply maximum pressure and sanctions on North Korea. The United Nations Security Council unanimously imposed new sanctions on North Korea on Saturday aimed at pressuring Pyongyang to end its nuclear program. The sanctions could slash North Korea's $3 billion annual export revenue by a third. Russia's relations with the West remain frosty with U.S. and NATO forces boosting their presence and training activity across Europe over the past few years, following Russia's annexation of Ukraine's Crimea region in 2014.